Hello guys, it's Sapphire. I'm here with Hellraiser. So for this Halloween, I decided I'm going to react to four um, horror movies that I have never seen before. And I will share that with you guys. So I was like, first I had to figure out what movies I haven't seen before. Because I've seen, you know, a good, pretty, you know, decent share of horror movies. Some of them I've never seen in a long time. But I wanted to watch ones I have never seen. Like I've seen all the Freddy movies. I've seen, I think, the... I've only seen in terms of the Friday the 13th movies, the original Friday the 13th movie, and the remake version, My Bloody Valentine. I've seen the remake version of that. I've seen one Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. I think that was one, I think it was like some, something down the line. I can't remember which one it was, but I don't know it was original. I've seen the first Saw movie. That that was a good movie. That, the ending, I was not expecting that ending. That one right there. That, yeah, but a lot of movies I've seen before, you know, like Jeepers Creepers, you know. I was like, you know, I need to watch something I've never seen before. And I've never seen Hellraiser. Like, out of all the horror movies, I've never seen this one. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to share this reaction with you guys. And I know nothing about Hellraiser except that the character name is Pinhead. And you can get him with that little cube thing. That's literally all I know. His name is Pinhead and he's summoned with a cube. That is it. That's my knowledge of of the movie. That's it. A cube and his name is Pinhead. So let's jump into Hellraiser. If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe, follow on social. If you're um a um a been a member, hey guys, welcome, welcome. It's Halloween time. You know, I had to get a little decorated. I got my night before Christmas shirt on, got the little skull, skull hand clip. So, you know, I had to get festive, and you know, it's spooky season, it's Halloween, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta get festive, you know what I'm saying? Halloween is like the best, the best holiday because you get free candy. So, yeah, let's jump into Hellraiser. Hall. Written and directed by Clive Barker. Nope. Okay, good. There go that little cube thing. That look like something you shouldn't be messing with. What's your pleasure, Mr. Cotton? A box. Ooh. Dude, how much money? Oh, dude, clean your nails. Ugh. Take it. It's yours. Clean out of them nails, please. Ah, right, if you gotta do all this with a box, that means don't mess with it. If you gotta do light candle light and candles and shit, mm -mm, that's a, that's a big red flag. For, Quinn, don't be don't be coming around me while I'm watching a horror movie. I, this is why I didn't want to really watch horror movies because my cats want to do that sneaky sneaky shit and scare the crap out of me. You still got time, sir. You 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 still can turn back. You still have time to turn back. Like if that star start happening when you open it something. Nah, he's still gonna mess with it. I, I understand people in horror movies. I mean, you, horror movie got a horror movie, but... Oh! Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, clean your damn kitchen! Ew, and they just... And they sort... Ooh. Oh my god, that's his She's putting his face together like a puzzle piece. I'm done. That is gross. So, wait. So did they leave when he fixed to put the box back together? He left. They they left. Yeah, I'm guessing so. Cause now it's an empty house. Oh, mm -mm, that that was gross. That was fucking. Gr that was gross. Oh my goodness. We can be happy. Really? Can you be happy? So what's the argument? No argument. Oh, Ma'am. Honey. I understand y'all gotta make the. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so we got a rocky marriage going on up in here. Like if I go into, if I move into a house and there's a bunch of religious figures like that, um, some that's that to me that's a red flag. It's probably because I've seen too many, too many horror. Uh uh. Oh that, oh that whole house. Oh, uh, that needs to be fumigated to hell. Oh my, look how dirty that is. Well, he was being freaky and taking, taking freak. Uh, really, sir, taking freaking pictures. Oh, look, look like tomorrow. she keep on. I will. I'll see you. Bye, Dad. Girl, where you at? So? Why not? Great. Please, bomb. that house needs to be fumigated. Sunday. Sunday, sir! That house needs to be fumigated, repainting. That needs, that house needs some work. Talking about some Sunday, sir, uh-uh. No. Uh, need a fresh coat need a fresh coat of paint fumigated all that that place needs to be disinfected oh oh no, uh, no she, oh she just wanted the picture oh so she found i come in can i come in you're julia right that's right. Wait, I'm so confused. What, what happened? I'm Frank. Uh, Julia got the hot for um, your uncle, boo boo. What is she doing? I'm thoroughly confused. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 before the wedding? Bro, the brother was trash. That's your, 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 that's your brother's wife. So she liked it a little danger, the bad boy. Yeah, all the wedding dress. It ain't whispering her name. Do anything you want. Ma'am, it cannot have been that good for you to be like this. Anything. Oh no. What the hell? Boy, practical effects or something else. That's nasty. Ew. You know, horror movies need to bring this back. Practical effects. Ew. Wait, uh, that's his lungs? Who are you? I said, don't look. Don't me. you. Uh, Sir, you're controlling. I'm telling me who you are. Frank. No. It can't. No. Believe she me. She like she can't, can't. She can't believe, believe it because my fantasy. Believe me. Of Frank. Bro, she is still thinking about it. Can if anything. She couldn't, it couldn't have been that good. Mm. 
The practical effects though, like, god damn, that's gross. You'll do it. Ma'am, I'm sorry. No peeing or no cooking is that good. I think you that you will be able to commit murder. I'm sorry. I don't care if you was messing with Megan Thee Stallion or Michael B. Jordan. I don't think it'd be that good when you be like, yeah, I'll do it. I, I'm sorry. Sir, you about to die. You don't even know it. Yes, yeah, sir. Now you gonna be a creep. Nah, sir. Now they now they gonna make you wish. Now they gonna make you wonder what, that she kills him. Cause now he's being pushy. So now you like, yeah. Now she gotta kill him. Cause now he's being creepy about it, being abusive, aggressive. Like, oh damn. Did you know this? <laughs> damn. Please. 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 Damn, and I just eat down. Okay, so it's like a mummy situation. See, it's making me whole again. Every drop of blood you spill puts more flesh on my bones. Night. Looks like he about to about to be a damn titan shit. My nerves are beginning to work again. Good. One more, maybe two. Not again. To heal me completely. Then we can be away from here before they start to fall. Okay. The Cenobites. It's only a matter of time before they find I've... Mm. I must get away from here. Julia. You won't cheat me, will you? You'll stay with me. Help me. Mm. We can be together the way we were before. Yeah. We belong to each other now. For better. For worse. Uh-uh. He still got the damn box. Don't touch it. It's dangerous. It opens doors. What kind of doors? Doors to the pleasures of heaven or hell. I didn't care which. I thought I'd gone to the limit. Oh God, Lord. I hadn't. I, I don't want to see it. Cenobites I... gave me an experience beyond the limits. Pain and pleasure, indivisible. So S and M. Ew. Ooh. I don't want to see it. Ew. Talking about it brings you to throw brings you heaven or hell. So it looks like it's just hell. It looks like that just. They say that to get you, your dumb asses to open that damn box. That's what it sounds like. You know, to lure you in. I don't know. I feel bad if this man need a woman that, that, uh, like a, a woman that's not her. Look. Could Cause he you? clearly loves her. Would you? Uh oh. But she you. don't deserve this man. She really don't. He a, he a good dude, clearly from what I've seen so far. He a good dude, and he needs a woman that that actually will love him. Somebody to talk to. You can't love him. You know I don't. Then why did you marry him? Get out of here, please! Don't, don't let him kill me. <laughs> Oh, uh, I thought he was serious about to do something else. <laughs> my mind went somewhere else. Oh my goodness, I went somewhere else with that in my head. 
Mm -mm. It's, it's Frank. It's Uncle Frank. No. It's Uncle Frank. Frank. No. Come to Daddy. Get the fuck out. Stop going and tell everybody come to Daddy. Why would you go into the room? Oh my god. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Ew. Ugh. Stop looking back. We just keep running. Oh my god. Mm. You like um what you call off on Resident Evil? Ew, why you put your fingers in my mouth? Ugh. Sir! He over there licking it, the fat one with the glasses over there licking his lips. Ugh. And he says he's a he's a demon to some and an angel to some. Who sees them as an angel? I need to know who seeing these people as who these things as an angel. Cause cl clearly they need to get their vision check. I don't see how this is seen as an angel. Unless that unless you really, really into that type of thing. I guess they'll be an angel, but no. Mm-mm. Came. Now you must come with us. Taste our pleasures. Oh. Go away. Leave me alone. Oh, no tears, please. It's a waste of good suffering. <laughs> a waste of good suffering. What? I, I can, I can leave you here. And you, you can take him back instead of me. Perhaps we prefer you. I want to hear him confess himself. Then maybe, maybe. But if you cheat us, we'll tear your soul apart. Damn. He got blood on the back of his head. Roger Frank is upstairs. He's he's upstairs and he's trying to kill you. He's gonna kill you. He got blood on the back of his neck and he got it right. Did he take over his? Did he take over his brother's body? Yeah, I, I think he's maybe switched bodies or something. I I don't know. Cause that, that cannot be. Look at his head. Like his head is bloody and stuff. I think he switched bodies or something. Yeah, cause he keeps playing with his. He's playing with his body like, like I got new skin. Oh, <gasps> did he stick his brother's skin and put it on his corpse? Girl, you need to get them both in that room. Oh. Yes, go in the room, go in the room, go in the room, go in the room. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Why didn't you go in the other room and let these have him? Frank. No. Yep. Isn't for your eyes. You set me up, bitch. Nah, you won't be freaking, friend. They gonna be freaking with you. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, 
Is that even hot enough to burn it? Yeah? What the hell? What's your pleasure, sir? So that was Hellraiser. And clearly at the end of the movie, whatever that thing is, it clearly it brings it back to this man who's selling it and he goes back and keeps doing the same thing, saying, what's your pleasure? So clearly Hellraiser from the outfit I'm getting is definitely like some gore, uh, gore version of BDSM. Like... That movie, it wasn't horror, like it's, yeah, it's more of a thriller, like, this said it's horror thriller, it's more of a thriller to me. Like, it was disgusting, it was disgusting, but I do love the, the use of the practical effects, so that, that make, because that made it, that made it more, ugh, for me, because it's, like, more practical compared to, like, you know, more, majority of, um, horror movies nowadays, you know, they kind of do, they kind of do CGI, which, I mean, it's scary, but I feel like, the practical effects it actually works more for a horror movie. Like it makes you feel it. You know what I'm saying? You feel more like, ooh, you know, like that, that, that was that gross. Polary, 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 polary. Frank Polar. Po I was like, I felt bad for Larry. Like, oh, like Larry deserves. Larry deserves so much more. Like clearly, she don't love this man. Well, she looked like she did love. Well, I don't think she ever loved him. I don't think she ever loved Larry. Cause clearly. She was wanted the thrill with that adrenaline rush, rush she was getting from Frank. Frank was an asshole. Frank was in some, some freaky shit. Like, that's your brother's wife. He probably did mess with his niece. Talk about come to daddy. That's your niece. That is your niece. Talk about some come to daddy. He probably did try to mess with him when she was small. I, I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him. I, 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 feel, I feel like he is that. Like, he was trying to mack on her while she was that age. So I'm pretty sure he was probably trying to hit trying to do something while she was little too so I, I wouldn't pass past them given how disgusting they show Frank is mm-mm mm-mm some awesome mm-mm Frank 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 you want pleasure Frank go ahead go with Pinhead and his friends they give you all the pleasure you want go ahead go ahead you want pleasure go go get it they they give it to you they give you the pleasure they give you the pleasure but that was that was good that was pretty good I might end up watching I might watch um the other ones because there's apparently others and then i think they came out recently with a, um I, i'm not sure if it's like a remake or um or a soft reboot of it but i know it's a female pinhead so i'll probably check out the other ones but overall that was um, that was pretty good i was grossed out the plot was pretty good frank was an a-hole felt bad for larry um the the white the girl she deserved it too like i don't think um sexual intimacy is ever that good 
where you will literally want to commit murder. Maybe some people, for them, is it is that good. You know, maybe for some people it is. But for me, ma'am, Larry was a good woman. If you didn't want to marry somebody, like if you're not into somebody, then it goes for both genders. Both, I said gingers. <laughs> both genders. If you're not feeling that person and you about to get married, they're like posting yourself. If you're not really like emotionally connected to the person like in love and you can't see yourself through better or worse through sickness and the health and all that stuff if you can't go through the rough times and the tough times with that person don't marry that person don't be in a relationship with that person just don't do it like look we're not compatible move on with somebody else if you willing to cheat on an individual don't be in a relationship because clearly no just don't be in a relationship frank like she got what she deserved she she got what she deserved like like if you if you having issues of intimacy in your relationship you can work on that communication she did not do any of that from what i've seen who she can do none of that like it could have been good with your man you did you communicate with him about what you want in the bedroom how y'all can spice things up like communication communication like but overall hellraiser that was a pretty good movie grossed grossed me out you had to find a girl in the end she, she was kind of getting on my nerves at certain points like go in the room you know they want him but i'm mad that the thing was still trying to get up but i guess that's they thing like if you open the box that's literally you open the box we gotta come at this you know kind of like they think if you open the post box we coming after you this sorry you <laughs> Mm -hmm. But she survived, and now that band is selling the box off to somebody else, some some other post so looking for some pleasure. But anyway, comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what's your thoughts on Hellraiser. If you've seen Hellraiser before, if you haven't seen Hellraiser before, you know, let me know your thoughts. I like, I like, like, I like hearing you guys thoughts on things. But that is it. Uh, follow on social media, and I'll see you guys next for the next. Um, horror movie. Bye.